Hey guys, Webhead Gaming here, and welcome to Mega Man X3. So you may be wondering what was up with the anime sequence at the beginning of the video. That was from the enhanced port of the game, which came out on the PS1, Sega Saturn, and PC. X3 is a very unique entry in the X series, in, in, in the case that uh, it has probably the most ports out of any game in the lineup. It was originally on the Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom and it came out in December of 1995 in Japan and it came out a month later in America. That has to be the worst possible time you could release a 16-bit game because by this point in time the PlayStation was a thing, the Sega Saturn was a thing, so it, it makes me wonder why Capcom even bothered if they knew that it's just it's just not gonna sell well. This thing didn't sell out at all. It sold miserably in Japan and America. So what they decided to do? They decided after a few months they, to uh, revamp the game and put it on the PS1, Sega Saturn, and PC. And in case you're wondering, uh, that version of the game is basically the same thing. It has the same graphics. Uh, the only main difference is that it has FMV cutscenes, the sound effects are different, and the music is different. But that's about it. So for this playthrough, uh, I'm mostly going to be playing the SNES version of the game. However, I will also show off the FMV cutscenes from the enhanced port to make it somewhat of a hybrid playthrough. So, yeah. Um, you can get the enhanced version of the game via the X Collection. And if you want the Super Nintendo version without, you know, raping your wallet, because Jesus, the cartridge is expensive. Holy crap. Uh, you can get it on the Wii U slash new 3DS uh, virtual console. But yeah, uh, so what's the plot of X3? Well, Dr. Dopper has showed up and he's causing trouble. And so X and Zero must stop him. That's basically the plot in a nutshell. <laughs> um, there's not much to really say about it. Uh, this cutscene is incredibly long, it drags, and uh, I just don't care for it. Uh, when it comes to uh, Mega Man fans' opinions on uh, X3, 
most people would say that it's the weakest of the SNES trilogy. Me, I don't think it's a bad game, but I definitely think it's not as good as X1 or X2. Mainly because the beginning is incredibly frustrating, but we'll get to that when we actually start going through the game. And yeah, this is Mega Man X3. Still relying on the uh, Super FX chip for its uh, for its visuals and uh, graphically, X3 remains the same as X2. It's it still relies on the Super FX chip. It's still pretty colorful. It's still a nice looking Super Nintendo game. Music is pretty mixed. Some people hate it before the uh, overuse of the of the rock of the rock guitar. I mean, the guitar is heavy in X3. It is incredibly heavy. You're going to be hearing it a lot throughout the game. And a lot of people, you know, don't really like that. It's not because they don't like rock, but because it gets so... Some people say it just gets repetitive and everything sounds the same. I can tell the difference between the soundtracks. I don't think the guitar ruins any of the song's identity. But I will admit that it can get graining for certain songs. <coughs> Tunnel Rhino. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the intro stage. It's just typical, you know, not really threatening at all. X once again has his armor stripped and he's basically back to his blue bomber self again. He still obtains the dash, but uh, one thing they took out for uh, X3 is the dash shot trick. In X1 and X2, you, when you dash and fire a pellet, you actually could be able to do double damage. They fixed that for this game, so you can no longer do that. And here we have a Repoid Day Mac. And X, like the uh, naive dumbass he is, gets trapped. Blah, 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 blah. I'm a member of Doppler's army. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta say, you know, despite being... A one-time character, Mac here is pretty good. He was able to trap the, the most dangerous Repoid in the world in a fact, in a matter of seconds. Oh shit! What we're we gonna do? What the hell? Oh, it's zero. So Mega Man X3 marks the very first time in the Mega Man franchise where you're playing as somebody other than the Blue Bomber. So in this case, you're playing as Zero, and Zero plays exactly like Mega Man X, except that when he does his charge shots, he can actually charge uh, very far. Um, the pink shots will allow him to do the double shot, like in X2. However, he has a green charge. When he charges up to green, he can fire the double shot, but then he can use the Z Saber, and the Z Saber is incredibly, incredibly powerful. However, we're not going to be using it much as Zero for um, reasons I'll get into when we tackle our first Maverick. So this guy is incredibly weak to the Z Saber, so when you end, before you enter the room, charge up, get your double shots, and then go in, strike Mac with the Z Saber, and then fire up a couple pellets, and you'll instant kill him. Not a hard boss fight at all when you realize that he's incredibly weak to the Z Saber. Uh, I'm going to apologize right now. For some reason... When it comes to the dialogue sound X3 makes, it was very glitchy and it sounds incredibly uh, high-pitched at some instances. I don't know what was up. I don't know if the recorder just couldn't handle the sound effect or something. It worked perfectly fine on X1 and X2, but here it just sounds so squeaky at times and glitchy and uh, it, it, it's annoying as hell. So I humbly apologize throughout this entire playthrough. I tried, but, you know, not every not everything needs to be perfect. But, uh, this is our first boss. It is known as Mao the Giant, and, uh, it's big, it's mighty, but pathetically easy. If he attacks with his chain ball, it only does, it only does one pellet of damage, so yeah. Uh, for some weird reason, this is the only time in a game where you can actually use the dash shot trick to your advantage. For some reason, after this boss, it's turned off. So, that's pretty inconsistent, I gotta say. But, uh, Mal the Giant has fallen, and we've cleared the intro stage. So, uh, I'm gonna explain more about how the game works in the next part. So, that's really all I gotta say. I have really nothing else to say for this part. So, uh, 
to the next time when we tackle our first Maverick. This is Webhead Gaming. I'll see you guys later.